kisses me Oh my god, I literally forgot about you guys. Like, I was just about to mash up my room. But before I do all of that, I just got to the hotel room. This hotel room is really nice. I wasn't expecting much. Let me just show you guys the room. Let's start from the beginning. This is what it looks like. It has a TV right here. As soon as you walk in. In the little living room area inside of that is the microwave and some extra storage on the bottom there's a desk down there lamp another couch you guys this right here it really blew me away i thought it was gonna be like a regular small fridge but okay they gave us a full fridge this makes me want to buy a hot pot i was really considering not buying it but the fact that this fridge is so big, you guys, I'm gonna just think I'm, I might just go ahead and buy one. So um, here's the bathroom, really nice. I love this mirror, oh my God. Check the fit. Hey, check, check. This is the dress I got from the thrift store. But yeah, this mirror is so cute. Airport outfit check. This is the mirror and the sink. I think that's the blow dryer. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna buy some Lysol and stuff like that when um, the girls are ready to go to Walmart. Um, this is what the... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do that because it's like some staining on here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, I always do that anyway, regardless of which hotel I go to. So this is what the tub looks like. It's not like the tub I had during my interview but you know beggars gave me shoes and this was free <laughs> so there's that let's go back over here what's this oh okay so like i said the full size fridge and here is a closet i put my coat in here it's really big there's a iron that i'm gonna check to see if it works oh what's that those must be some extra pillows and blankets so you move from this area there's another area right here which literally has a door you guys so if you wanted some people to come over to study you can have the entertainment over here bathroom here in your personal belongings in the bedroom okay so here's the bedroom as you can see really really nice i want to see if this heater works so let me um let me get this started. Let's just see. Oh, no, it goes up to 70. I don't know. Okay. Because it's literally like, <laughs> it feels like it's five degrees outside. So this is the stand for the TV and the TV. I'm not sure if I can show you the view because I saw from somebody else's vlog who is with my airline. They were saying that the company doesn't like when you show which hotels they use so i'm not gonna show the view but it's literally just the parking lot i like this because i can see when the shuttle is downstairs in the morning and um it also shows the connected restaurants we have two connected restaurants and we get 10 percent off with our airline and another thing about this hotel is they have two indoor pools I don't know if you guys saw in some clips that I inserted, if I inserted those. Um, they have like a campfire thing outside. They also have laundry on the, I don't know what floor it's on, but and with the laundry, they offer free detergent, free Wi-Fi, and free breakfast. Oh my gosh, free breakfast. And they have a conference room. And you guys, the indoor pools are heated. But yeah, so the group chat is group chatting. Shout out to my uncle. He gave me these headphones. 
these are like literally i don't know i've never had airpods but i feel like these would be like airpods because whenever someone texts you it'll say phone number such and such has texted and they'll read the whole text message i think that's really cool so yeah let's see what they're talking about because we're about to go to walmart the lighting is so bad in here um yeah we're supposed to go to walmart and pick up some groceries the shuttle service for the walmart is tomorrow and we really just want to have some stuff in our fridge and with the shuttle they're saying that we only have an hour to shop so it's like if we all if you think about it if all of us literally chip in for a lyft or uber that'll be the same amount of a tip that we would give to the shuttle driver and we can stay as long as we want where i'm from there's no walmart's where i'm from you need to drive to walmart's where i'm from in new york i'm from new york city not the state that let me stop i'm from new york city walmart is not easy to come by so i'm really excited to go to walmart walmart has really good prices and like i said i'm thinking about buying a hot stove i will save a lot of money cooking my own food and honestly the money that i would spend on food i could literally spend that on the stove i was looking online before i even got here for some stoves that they might sell at that location and um let's see if that's still available where's my phone you guys it was such a hassle trying to find shirts for this especially in new york city i literally had to go to the men's department to buy shirts and those shirts well, one of them wasn't cheap and because i got it from bloomington you know they're gonna charge you by the brand and i really don't even care about the brand your girl just wanted like a white plain shirt oh my gosh like and the women's they don't have those type of like security type shirts basically is what i would call them they don't have like those plain type of shirts i went to the men's section because you know men's selections usually are like boring and blah <laughs> like it's so easy being a guy and shopping i swear women there's these extra things like these stitching that we don't need these buttons that we don't need like i just it was so hard for me i went up and down harlem i started from the two train and i walked all the way down all the way down to where the magic johnson theater is and i literally only found two shirts in Bloomington and they were men's the security officer literally was trying to help me she was like um yeah I have a men's shirt on right now try going next door to find um other men's shirt because I do security and we gotta have the same type of shirt she thought I was doing security I definitely want to get like a blazer though because although the shirts do fit these are men's shirts they're size like 15 15 and a half slim fit um they, they still kind of look a little boxy on me and um, I do have a belt, but I don't really know if that belt is allowed because the buckle is kind of like a little big. But um, yeah, the fact that I have to like tuck in these long shirts into my pants, I'm not sure how weird that's going to look. So I was hoping I could find a blazer, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that today unless Walmart has blazers because I don't feel like going to the Mall of America. I'm literally so tired. I want to take this hair off. I'm literally so tired and I'm starving. I didn't. Oh, can I eat like some wedges today from the airport? But um, yeah, I want to buy some meats or something meats, rice. I might have to buy a little cheap pot and make me a little dinner. I wonder if they have like Caribbean owls or corned beef. I don't know. And you guys, I'm using EBT. Your girl's using EBT. I'm loud and I'm proud about it. Mhm. Mm it's help out there and I need it, so I'm gonna accept it and I'm not gonna be embarrassed about it. And I also, it's funny because, let me stop this right here and start another clip. 